Hello everyone, happy new moon in Scorpio. All right, I hope everyone's doing well. And I'm going to pull cards for each zodiac sign. And then I'll be letting you know what your horoscope is as well. Okay, so let me light this up. This is some Nub Champa. I don't know how how it will if it'll last that long. Sometimes it outs. I have to let it burn for a little bit. Should have had it burn a little bit longer actually. So Alright, there we go. All right, so let's start shuffling the cards. I'm going to start off with, I'm a month ahead, so let's start off with Scorpio, since it's your new moon. All right, it's Scorpio's new moon. So I'm going to start off with Scorpio and then continue down. So if you guys have any questions definitely leave it in the comments section in here so get your mind clear <sighs> before I do any reading I tell people just get your mind clear relax and we're gonna focus on the new moon in Scorpio I'm pulling a card and also reading the astrology and the tarot card videos coming up for November will be coming up uh, soon right after this video so you guys can see your November um, each 12 sign uh, card reading okay so Scorpio, let's pull the card. What card for the new moon? And and well, the new moon is a great time to pull pull your own cards for for directions, you know, um, that you need in your life, and to see what your life experience has been leading up to the new moon. Okay, what has your experience been like, and see if that links up with your house, your planets and whatever your zodiac sign position is on the new moon okay so let's tune in for focusing on scorpio so scorpio we have the king of cups okay you guys are pulling in the king of cups all right and the king of cups is for you guys I'm gonna use this and hold it my new ring <laughs> okay so the king of cups is asking you to really figure out the direction that you guys want to go in okay what direction do you want to go in all right and figuring out how you can do that being powerful but still having compassion okay um, this is the king that is associated with emotions okay the element of water and still getting the job done but considering how you get it done right and it's so funny because I was watching something came up where it was about you can be a decent person and powerful right or um the masculine energy you know can be power is can be powerful but still compassionate it's like duh i knew that <laughs> right so scorpio you're in the sixth house so you guys will be and it's also your sun season right now so it's your birthday time okay and your sun and your moon is in the fifth house okay and the fifth house is more asking you to enjoy your emotions and yourself is more it's asking you more to enjoy your life 
stay away from drama, but also be more um, <clears throat> competitive for yourself, you know, more encouraging to yourself where it comes to, um, you know, maybe your work, survival, stuff like that. Okay, and to take actions to make things better for you. But you're in the sixth house and it's all about your health, your fitness, um, what you can offer of yourself, but make sure you're still getting, um, you're still feeling fulfilled in whatever giving that you're doing. Some of you will have issues with like your pets, um, anything to do with maybe getting yourself organized is one is one of the things that popped up okay so there's many meanings to the sixth house so it all depends on on you but certain things will pop out to me and the most important thing i feel is your health um your your wellness but also you being proactive in getting things done that is best for you you guys have mercury and venus so it's a lot of communicating about your wants and your needs um, relationship money okay and really doing things in a feminine way and it's funny you have the king of cups so you know it's it's I feel like it could be the balance of the masculine and the feminine for you guys okay um, but making sure that you are putting out your best ability and that service um, is coming back to you Okay, you you helping someone else and that coming back to you. All right, so Libra, Libra, we're going to pull your card. So Libra has the Ace of Cups upside down and it's really feeling unguided, not feeling as guided as you want to or not feeling necessarily as spiritual as you want to but trying to figure things out on your own of what you can do and how you can make things better you libra is in the fifth house so there's a lot of mars energy of fighting for yourself of really wanting to get things done for yourself relationship and love is still there but it's more focusing on you being competitive for yourself okay and then also making sure that if you have a personal life or relationship that that is being um, taken care of okay but it's more about your courage for yourself and to get things done that you need to get done all right so let's move on to Virgo Virgo is in is in the IC so it's a lot of internal focus for Virgo for your astrological reading so let's pull a card So Virgo has eight of pentacles. So it's about doing the work and being prepared, Virgo. So being prepared for whatever it is that you have coming up. And this could be for anyone. All of these readings could be for the birth sign in Virgo, but also moon in Virgo, north node in Virgo, or rising sign in Virgo. Where do you have Virgo in your chart? You know, And for the birth sign Virgo, it's about preparing your next step, your next work. Okay, I hope this is working with the battery. I didn't do a test to make sure that the um, that the battery is on. So hopefully that is on. Okay, hopefully the volume is on. I would hate to go through all of this and it not be on, but I'm going to trust. <laughs> okay. All right, so, and I don't see the light on here, so give me a second. Okay, I'm, I'm starting to film with the camera again, so I should have done a test, but let's see what happens. If anything, I will have to film it. I don't know what, okay? Okay, so Virgo, it's all about internal focus this time around okay at the new moon and no planets are in your sign but you're you are in the fourth house you're in Taurus's house um, and it's well the fourth house is in Taurus's house is it I don't think so why did I say that let me see 
Yeah, that's Cancer's house, right? That is Cancer's house. Taurus is before Cancer. It's for, before Gemini. So it's all about the home, the family. Um, uh, some of you might have mother issues coming up. Um, children, raising children's debate on that if you have kids or siblings. Or just being around the situation where mothering, parenting is an issue. Okay? Um, and it's a lot of internal focus. So find out within yourself, especially if you don't have a family or kids, it's just you, what the issue is with um, family, kids, and so on. Okay? Yeah. That's the, and, and a lot of self-care is what I, I jot down that I felt intuitively when I was writing this down. There's a lot of time to care for yourself, Virgo, and putting yourself first. Okay, so let's go into Leo. So Leo's card is two of coins, all right? And I'm going to place it right here again. And Leo is in the third house. So it's, a, it's in Gemini's house. So it's a lot of communication, the mind, being creative, really listening to get the information in order to be a really amazing communicator is to listen and to feel like you're learning something, you're getting something um, in return, right? So it's a lot of focus in on what is being said and what is going on. All right. And it's a lot of um, a time for you to really get social, to really come out of, and Leos are not really in a shell, but in case you're that type of Leo, is really getting out of your shell um, and kind of changing up the way that you think, the way you listen, the way you communicate. And really it's a great time to be like that sign um, house that you're in and really um, get a better understanding of them, okay? And then their their talents can help you. And there's no, there's no planet in Leo right now. So let me see what, what I have for Aquarius. Um, why am I missing Aquarius in here? And wouldn't it be funny if I didn't write down Aquarius? But look and see, here it is. Aquarius is in the ninth house, okay? So no planets as well. So, you know, your opposite sign, you can look at what's going on in the opposite sign as well, and especially your moon sign, Leo, to see if, if this reading, if the third house doesn't resonate with you, maybe the ninth house issues will. Cancer. So Cancer's card is six of wands and it's reverse. So right now maybe you're working towards a goal and you maybe want it to, maybe feeling impatient in some ways, wanting it to move along quickly. But look at where you are. You're in the North Node, so you're really thinking about your future and, and maybe feeling like, okay, maybe some things will be going well for some of you, Cancer, but for others, it's like just trying to figure out where you want to go, what you want to do, looking at what is working, what is not working, and really wanting to celebrate yourself moving forward, wishing that maybe things were in the future right now, but we'll go through the motions where you are right now, knowing that you're in the North Node and you're thinking more of your life purpose and your future a lot. Some of you might be thinking about that. And a lot of first, first house issues where you're thinking about yourself, your appearance, and still from the last reading, working on um, your friendship and your surroundings and, and thinking, okay, do I want these group of friends? Do I not want these group of friends? Just changing around your life situation um, that will suit you the best. Okay, so we're going to move on to Gemini who's in the ascending. Gemini ascending at this Scorpio moon. So if you happen to be a Gemini with a Scorpio rising or a Scorpio with Gemini rising, this is a great new moon for you. Hopefully you guys were doing a lot of uh, letting go work during the waxing moon. Okay. And I should have had my other camera set up too. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so let's pull the card for Gemini.
Okay, Gemini has the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords is just ready to stand up for themselves, to really say what they need to say and really get that, that voice out. The Knight of Swords is really defending yourself through your voice and really using the right words and knowing the right words to use, okay? Gemini, you are in that personal focus um, position on the chart right now where you want to you're ascending and when you're ascending you're really focusing on yourself so try to focus on yourself and what you want to do and you're in the position of being successful at what it is that you want to do so pick what you're doing very wisely and maybe a lot of you have been feeling like hey I need to really make sure that I'm doing what I'm supposed to do and what is right for me okay so a lot of a lot of prosperity coming up no matter what you do but you want to choose wisely <laughs> is a better way of saying it okay all right so let's look at taurus so the card for taurus is death reverse okay so there is a a, a very stagnant um pause right now okay um it, it could be um, what's coming to me intuitively. It could be someone, you know, close to dying or feeling um, like they want to or just feeling like they're uncertainty. And it could be an uncertainty in yourself as well, Taurus, okay? But it's the, the lack of moving forward spiritually too or understanding spiritually for you or someone you know. And a lot of 11th house issues um, because Uranus which is interesting, is in Taurus. So Uranus is about breaking um, or letting go of, of beliefs that just don't work anymore. Okay, if it doesn't work anymore, you don't want any parts of it. And, and this is great. This is a great way to be because if something is outdated, it's not working, why, why would you want to use it? It's just, it's not working. It doesn't make sense, right? Okay, so... And it's also, that's the main point. I mean, Uranus means a lot of things, but Taurus right now is just letting go of things that don't work and not feeling responsible for living up to something or being responsible for someone, okay? Someone else's feelings or their emotions. All right, Aries. Aries has the Three of Cups reversed, so it's time to really choose your friends wisely. Um, kind of the same thing that Cancer is going through, is really picking, picking your friends wisely, choosing your friends wisely, and maybe spending time to yourself rather than uh, being social, is spending time to yourself to really um, think about things going inward and really thinking about what you're doing on, on all levels of your life just thinking about what it is that you're doing and being that it's the new moon in Scorpio um, it's, it's a great time for everyone to really check into um, their own um, spirituality and really dig deep into what makes them sad and then hello everyone happy new moon in Scorpio all right i hope everyone's doing well and i'm going to pull cards for each zodiac sign and then i'll be letting you know what your horoscope is as well okay so let me light this up this is some nub champa i don't know how how it will, if it will last that long. Sometimes it outs. I have to let it burn for a little bit. Should have had it burn a little bit longer actually. So, all right, there we go. All right, so let's start shuffling the cards. I'm gonna start off with I'm a month ahead, so let's start off with Scorpio, since it's your new moon. All right, it's Scorpio's new moon. So I'm gonna start off with Scorpio and then continue down. So 
if you guys have any questions definitely leave it in the comments section in here so get your mind clear <sighs> before I do any reading I tell people just get your mind clear relax and we're going to focus on the new moon in Scorpio I'm pulling a card and also reading the astrology and the tarot card videos coming up for November will be coming up uh, soon right after this video so you guys can see your November um, each 12 sign uh, card reading okay so Scorpio let's pull the card what card for the new moon and and well, the new moon is a great time to pull pull your own cards for for directions you know um, that you need in your life and to see what your life experience has been leading up to the new moon okay what has your experience been like and see if that links up with your house your planets and whatever your zodiac sign position is on the new moon okay so let's tune in for focusing on Scorpio so Scorpio we have the king of cups okay you guys are pulling in the king of cups all right and the king of cups is for you guys I'm gonna use this and hold it my new ring <laughs> okay so the king of cups is asking you to really figure out the direction that you guys want to go in okay what direction do you want to go in all right and figuring out how you can do that being powerful but still having compassion okay um, this is the king that is associated with emotions okay the element of water and still getting the job done but considering how you get it done right and it's so funny because I was watching uh, something came up where it was about you can be a decent person and powerful right or um the masculine energy you know can be power is can be powerful but still compassionate it's like duh i knew that <laughs> right so scorpio you're in the sixth house so you guys will be and it's also your sun season right now so it's your birthday time okay and your sun and your moon is in the fifth house okay and the fifth house is more asking you to enjoy your emotions and yourself is more it's asking you more to enjoy your life stay away from drama but also be more um, <clears throat> competitive for yourself you know more encouraging to yourself where it comes to um, you know maybe your work survival stuff like that okay and to take actions to make things better for you but you're in the sixth house and it's all about your health your fitness um what you can offer of yourself but make sure you're still getting um you're still feeling fulfilled in whatever giving that you're doing some of you will have issues with like your pets um anything to do with maybe getting yourself organized is one is one of the things that popped up okay so there's many meanings to the sixth house so it all depends on on you but certain things will pop out to me and the most important thing I feel is your health um, your your wellness but also you being proactive in getting things done that is best for you you guys have mercury and Venus so it's a lot of communicating about what your wants and your needs um relationship money okay 
and really doing things in a feminine way. And it's funny you have the King of Cups. So, you know, it's, it's, I feel like it could be the balance of the masculine and the feminine for you guys, okay? Um, but making sure that you are putting out your best ability and that service um, is coming back to you, okay? You, you helping someone else and that coming back to you, all right? So Libra, Libra, we're going to pull your card. So Libra has the Ace of Cups upside down, and it's really feeling unguided, not feeling as guided as you want to, or not feeling necessarily as spiritual as you want to, but trying to figure things out on your own of what you can do and how you can make things better. You Libra is in the fifth house, so there's a lot of Mars energy of fighting for yourself, of really wanting to get things done for yourself. Relationship and love is still there, but... It's more focusing on you being competitive for yourself, okay? And then also making sure that if you have a personal life or relationship, that that is being um, taken care of, okay? But it's more about your courage for yourself and to get things done that you need to get done, all right? So let's move on to Virgo. Virgo is in is in the IC, so it's a lot of internal focus for Virgo for your astrological reading. So let's pull a card. So Virgo has eight of pentacles. So it's about doing the work and being prepared, Virgo. So being prepared for whatever it is that you have coming up. And this could be for anyone. All of these readings could be for the birth sign in Virgo, but also moon in Virgo, north node in Virgo, or rising sign in Virgo. Where do you have Virgo in your chart? You know, and for the birth sign Virgo, it's about preparing your next step, your next work. Okay? I hope this is working with the battery. I didn't do a test to make sure that the... Um, that the battery is on so hopefully that is on okay hopefully the volume is on I would hate to go through all of this and it not be on but I'm gonna trust <laughs> okay all right so and I don't see the light on here so give me a second I'm, I'm starting to film with the camera again, so I should have done a test, but let's see what happens. If anything, I will have to film it. I don't know what, okay? Okay, so Virgo, it's all about internal focus this time around, okay, at the new moon. And no planets are in your sign, but you're, you are in the fourth house. You're in Taurus's house, um, and it's, well... The fourth house is in Taurus's house, is it? I don't think so. Why did I say that? Let me see. Yeah, that's Cancer's house, right? That is Cancer's house. Taurus is before Cancer. It's for, before Gemini. So it's all about the home, the family. Um, uh, some of you might have mother issues coming up. Um, children, raising children's debate on that if you have kids or siblings or just being around the situation where mothering, parenting is an issue, okay? Um, and it's a lot of internal focus, so find out within yourself, especially if you don't have a family or kids, it's just you, what the issue is with um, family, kids, and so on, okay? Yeah. That's a, and, and a lot of self-care is what I, I jot down that I felt intuitively when I was writing this down. There's a lot of time to care for yourself, Virgo, and putting yourself first. Okay, so let's go into Leo. So Leo's card is two of coins, all right? And I'm going to place it right here again. 
and Leo is in the third house, so it's a it's in Gemini's house. So it's a lot of communication, the mind, being creative, really listening to get the information in order to be a really amazing communicator is to listen and to feel like you're learning something, you're getting something um, in return, right? So it's a lot of focus in on what is being said and what is going on, all right? And it's a lot of um, a time for you to really get social, to really come out of, and Leos are not really in a shell, but in case you're that type of Leo, is really getting out of your shell um, and kind of changing up the way that you think the way you listen, the way you communicate, and really it's a great time to be like that sign um, house that you're in and really um, get a better understanding of them, okay? And then their their talents can help you. And there's no, there's no planet in Leo right now. So let me see what, what I have for Aquarius. Um, why am I missing Aquarius in here? And wouldn't it be funny if I didn't write down Aquarius? But look and see, here it is. Aquarius is in the ninth house, okay? So no planets as well. So, you know, your opposite sign, you can look at what's going on in the opposite sign as well, and especially your moon sign, Leo, to see if, if this reading, if the third house doesn't resonate with you, maybe the ninth house issues will. Cancer. So Cancer's card is six of wands and it's reverse. So right now maybe you're working towards a goal and you maybe want it to, maybe feeling impatient in some ways, wanting it to move along quickly, but look at where you are. You're in the North Node, so you're really thinking about your future and, and maybe feeling like, okay, maybe some things will be going well for some of you, Cancer, but for others, it's like just trying to figure out where you want to go, what you want to do, looking at what is working, what is not working, and really wanting to celebrate yourself moving forward wishing that maybe things were in the future right now but go through the motions where you are right now knowing that you're in the north node and you're thinking more of your life purpose and your future a lot some of you might be thinking about that and a lot of first first house issues where you're thinking about yourself your appearance and still from the last reading working on um your friendship and your surroundings and, and thinking okay do I want these group of friends? Do I not want these group of friends? Just changing around your life situation um, that will suit you the best. Okay, so we're going to move on to Gemini who's in the ascending. Gemini ascending at this Scorpio moon. So if you happen to be a Gemini with a Scorpio rising or a Scorpio with Gemini rising, this is a great new moon for you. Hopefully you guys were doing a lot of uh, letting go work during the waxing moon. Okay, and I should have had my other camera set up too. Okay, <clears throat> okay, so let's pull the card for Gemini. Okay, Gemini has the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords is just ready to stand up for themselves, to really say what they need to say and really get that that voice out. The Knight of Swords is really defending yourself through your voice and really using the right words and knowing the right words to use, okay? Gemini, you are in that personal focus um, position on the chart right now where you wanna, you're ascending, and when you're ascending, you're really focusing on yourself. So try to focus on yourself and what you wanna do, and you're in the position of being successful at what it is that you want to do. So pick what you're doing very wisely. And maybe a lot of you have been feeling like, hey, I need to really make sure that I'm doing what I'm supposed to do and what is right for me. Okay, so a lot of a lot of prosperity coming up no matter what you do, but you want to choose wisely <laughs> is a better way of saying it, okay? All right, so let's look at Taurus. So the card for Taurus is death reverse, okay? So 
there is a, a, a very stagnant um, pause right now, okay? Um, it, it could be um, what's coming to me intuitively. It could be someone, you know, close to dying or feeling um, like they want to or just feeling like their uncertainty. And it could be an uncertainty in yourself as well, Taurus, okay? But it's the, the lack of moving forward spiritually too or understanding spiritually for you or someone you know. And a lot of 11th house issues um, because Uranus, which is interesting, is in Taurus. So Uranus is about breaking um, or letting go of, of beliefs that just don't work anymore. Okay, if it doesn't work anymore, you don't want any parts of it. And, and this is great. This is a great way to be because if something is outdated, it's not working, why, why would you want to use it? It's just, it's not working. It doesn't make sense, right? Okay, so, and it's also, that's the main point. I mean, Uranus means a lot of things, but Taurus right now is just letting go of things that don't work and not feeling responsible for living up to something or being responsible for someone okay someone else's feelings or their emotions all right aries aries has the three of cups reversed so it's time to really choose your friends wisely um kind of the same thing that cancer is going through is really Picking, picking your friends wisely, choosing your friends wisely, and maybe spending time to yourself rather than uh, being social, is spending time to yourself to really um, think about things, going inward and really thinking about what you're doing on, on all levels of your life, just thinking about what it is that you're doing. And being that it's the new moon in Scorpio, um, it's, it's a great time for everyone to really check into um, their own um, spirituality and really dig deep into what makes them sad and then lift yourself out of that. So Aries has Chiron, okay? And, and as much as you want as much as you want to be the answer or you know to w whatever someone's problem is, if someone comes to you with a problem as an example, you are the answer for that, okay? You feel like you know what it is that you're doing, that's great. But it's important to heal yourself and to have yourself grow on another level where you might not be, okay? Yeah. And I feel and I feel that once you do that, being in the 10th house, if you work on that, your career, your structure, anything with 10th house issues and look up 10th house and see what it means to you. Because whenever I mention the house that your planet's in, I might not say something that resonates with you, but look into it and something will click. But you're in the 10th house. So whatever you're doing with your healing, take it. It's a slow process. It's not going to like happen, you know, in the next two weeks by the full moon. But it's a process, but as long as you're working on it, okay? And any 10th house issues will start working out once you start to really look deep within yourself and really try to get the help that you need. And a lot of you will have to ask for outside help, and that's not um, Aries' strong suit, okay? So let's look at Pisces. So Pisces card is the three of hearts. Three of hearts always has to do with love relationship, broken heart, um, miscommunication, dealing with someone that you love or you care for. Okay. And um, Pisces is also having um, its position in the 10th house okay so it has to do with career i feel for a lot of you is expert advice would be really good okay you guys have neptune um retrograde and lilith as well so look up those meanings for yourself um and see how they apply to you but really trust your intuition 
and if you feel that something or someone is not being fair or, or right, then your intuition, you have to just go with that. You guys are in the MC, so a lot of attention is going to be put on you. And it's a lot of external focus on you, your career, what you're doing. Like just, especially if you're, you're auditioning for something or, or trying to get a new job, it's kind of like looking at you. Someone wants to make sure that you're right for them, okay? Um, and just you feeling comfortable with who you are and your personal long-term goals, Pisces, okay? I should have been live on Facebook, too. Hmm. I meant to do that, but... All right, Aquarius. All right, the high priestess. Okay, get that knowledge. Feel. I feel like for this one, it's just about being confident in yourself. If you want to be at a certain position in your life, it's about being confident about yourself. It's about working on it daily, Aquarius. And it's about knowing that you've already have it. You just need maybe in this physical world to attain something that you feel that you need and you can do that. Okay. Ninth house issues. Um, I feel like it's a higher education for some of you guys. And if you're feeling like you haven't obtained something, you know, really take it easy on yourself and you might look at the spiritual meaning behind it. Cause if, if it's a strong feeling, um, of, what is not going right, whether it's legal, um, court issues, education, uh, not having the career that you, th you, you felt would be best for you or whatever it is. Um, some of you might want to travel and allow yourself to, um, you know, be away from it all, if you will. And others will seek that type of, um, spiritual understanding or just understanding in general, okay? And that will help you guys through. All right, Capricorn. So Capricorn, your card, let me feel like, I feel like I should shuffle this a little bit more. Okay, so, oh, this, these ones just wanna drop out the nine of, nine of pentacles and judgment just dropped out for Capricorn, okay? So Capricorn, you have the Ace of Pentacles, okay? The Ace of Pentacles is about being on the right right path for your prosperity. Whatever it is that you feel that you need financially, you're on the right path for it. Um, really look at the eighth house, um, Saturn in the, in the, in, so Pluto in the eighth house, Saturn in the seventh house, okay? Um, you also have uh, the south node, okay, where Cancer has the north node, your opposite sign. So the south node in retrograde, so really not look into too much of your, if you're trying to find meaning from your past or past relationship, past life, um, don't look so deep that you're trying to find the answer. I feel like if you're looking for the answer really hard, you won't find it. But once you relax and kind of work out necessary things, at the current moment in your life, then all, all, all the other things, whether it's a spiritual seeking or, or, or the other will reveal itself at the right time rather than forcing things to happen. Seventh house, um, that's that Saturn, um, in the seventh house. Okay. Um, let me see the seventh house is like marriage partners, stuff like that. So it's really trying not to control another person's um, personality, just finding the best way of, of working through things where it's not going to create a problem, especially if you have to, um, take control of a situation. Okay. Put up restrictions, um, get things organized. Okay. Um, the eighth house issue, um, would be anything to do with, um, death, um, relationship, um, money, um, other people's money, your partner, property, anything like that, a new idea, a new venture, venture. You want to make sure that, um, you're not just going with the motions, you know, now that the new moon is coming up, um, on Sunday, the new moon, and then it'll be a waxing moon. It's a good time to start something. So you want to just lay off, um, 
until the moon is waxing a full moon um, and don't try to force um, conversations you know kind of like look at things to the spiritual timing really you know take spiritual timing especially when you're dealing with um, signing any contracts anything to do with other people's money starting a business if you can you can always push off signing something until you know it's waxing moon or new moon okay or even the full moon all right all right so let's look at Sagittarius Sagittarius has the hangman reverse so really not seeing clearly or looking at things um, in a clear way okay or just blocking out any goodness coming towards you Jupiter is about putting yourself first but Jupiter is in the sixth house so it's putting your health first um, if you have pets that too um, you know just your daily schedule and your work habits make sure that it's healthy for you you know it's really putting yourself first and making things better and it's not going to be easy but if you're working on these things that you know is bothering you look at look at it if you're looking at it for a fight or ego then you have to find the lesson because it's going to help you work on your karma okay and it's 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 making things better or expanding on something that you need rather than something that you feel you want or you're basing it on your opinion all right so and with with the that's pretty cool too so with the hangman right the hangman it's all about your per your perception of things so you can perceive things for what it really is or you can be sensitive to something and you're not really perceiving it in its true form but you want to see things for what they real for really what it really is but flip it and make and make the best of it and move forward handle it and move forward right and for everyone okay the biggest for everyone at this new moon the biggest thing that we can that we can work on is ourself and our emotions right and uh, and look at ourself and our emotion and then have us individually but as a collective too is is to really have your own awakening okay there's no other way of saying that it's just a powerful awakening so from this new moon leading up to the full moon it's all about letting go it's that Uranus energy of letting go of what is not useful what is not working right now and if we can do that in this fall season right letting go of things that don't work anymore and seeking that knowledge then when it comes into December and March we can really have a stronger rebirth of ourself our awareness and really bring bringing forth things that do work that's it, it's in the right timing not holding on to um, past thoughts the way of doing things that it doesn't work with the with the time 